this year at BTCM has been very difficult, full of challenges, full of fear and uncertainty. From the time kids were sent from school unprepared to parents and guardians who were unprepared also. In addition, the government directed us to decongest. Our social workers were incapacitated because of the lockdown. No motorcycles were allowed to move and it was so hard for us to connect with the children. We've not been able to provide the discipleship that we've been doing for the past 10 years for our kids. We normally have chapel at 6 in the evening uh, where we feed the Word of God into our kids. But because of the pandemic, we only have 80 kids compared to the 200 kids that we normally have for our evening chapel. Most of the kids were indisciplined. Later on, we got the COVID pandemic, what we feared most on campus. But throughout all this, we've seen a lot of hope and we believe God is still in control. We've started one-on-one -on -one classes with all our struggling students in different subjects. Uh, we've had teachers come and concentrate on each student on their own. We've started individual discipleship uh, with, with different kids. We've had the kids step up as well and do their own discipleship every evening. We started a family strengthening program to where our social workers and most of our team members go out into the family and concentrate on different families, providing them with food, um, shelter, mattresses, uh, where the, struggle, the family is struggling, we've stepped in. We've seen our families in the USA stick with us throughout this pandemic. They've continued supporting Bless the Children Ministries. This has restored a lot of hope in this organization. For this reason, I bow my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth derives its name. I ask that out of the riches of his glory, he may strengthen you with power through his spirit in your inner being. Ephesians 3, 14, 16. The one story of which is victorious and a family strengthening program Gertrude Katsabe, the guardian of three boys on program, before the pandemic, her children were scattered all over. She never had love for her children. So we really did great. We encouraged her. We constructed a house for her. We bought some goats and encouraged her to rear them. We bought mattresses. We encouraged her to pray and stay with the children because it's good to stay as a family. Her children never had hope. They never had faith. They never believed that they would be something great. But today, they can read, they can write, they can pray, and they can sing, and they can minister. <laughs> COVID-19 has impacted me in so many ways. First of all, it has affected my education, whereby I'm sitting in the same class for more than one year, which I never expected at all in my life. My attitude changed. I started misbehaving. BTCM has supported me in so many ways throughout this year. First of all, after the lockdown, after the first lockdown, schools were open and I was able to go to school. Since BTCM was able to pay my school fees and provide all the necessary scholastic materials that I needed. Secondly, it has helped me grow spiritually. I have learned that Jesus was humble and so I need to be humble like him. We thank the Lord for total and complete healing of all the staff and the children. It was a miracle. We believe and trust in the Lord for control because now there, is, there are smiles on our campus. We can play our drums again every evening and even on Sunday, we have a get together in our church, our chapel on BTCM. I thank God for all the staff who have tirelessly continuously served at BTCM despite all these challenges.
we continue to praise the Lord and believe in him and trust in him for his guidance and control.